Hello and welcome everybody through the bird's eye view. I'm Mr. Crow and I'm here with a uh, war duck. Howdy, howdy. And today we uh, came across an article that uh, we just decided we'd talk about because everybody likes food. They're wrong. Apparently, this article is so wrong. Oh yeah. Apparently these are the foods Liars. that you should stay away. Liars. Uh, yeah. We're, <laughs> so we're going to talk about how healthy we really are, even though you may think we're healthier than what we really are. <laughs> Yeah, so these were just some uh, the worst, some of the worst foods that uh, <laughs> yeah, are just horrible. The first two lines is, if you want to live healthier, step away from these 10 foods in general food categories. And then, like, number one is bacon. Like, bacon. Okay. You, you're just an American and uh, <laughs> should be drug out in the street and beaten. See, and, and I think, uh, like, I was, I was I telling... Love my Ameri- uh, I love my bacon. Yeah, I was telling Duck, I'm like, I think it's all in moderation because if I ordered a bacon burger and had like maybe a pound and a half of bacon on it, maybe I should take this out of my diet. <laughs> well, but, if you're just doing it once every year, then I don't see the problem. Oh, that's yeah, true. I mean, if, you, if it's like an everyday fucking, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're having a pound of bacon every day, yeah, you should probably look at your diet. Ah, oh, man, but, but that would be the life, dude. Uh, I could do that. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> I, I could. Do <laughs> I that. don't know if I could do a pound of bacon a day. <laughs> I could definitely do that. In fact, at one point, a couple of years ago, my wife would just cook tons of bacon, mm-hmm. and then cut them up in these little pieces about yay long, and then just put them in the fridge in little baggies, and then you could just go in there and like a grab a piece and ah, dude. <laughs> He's all like that was man. I'm gonna have to call her as they cook some. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to. You remember when I was real happy? <laughs> and we were just eating bacon like every day. Man. I think it was the bacon. All right. So, so, yeah. so, so those of you that be like, well, I don't eat bacon. I eat turkey bacon because it's way healthier. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, but they say you're wrong. That's also. number two. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's number, two, number two. So you can't get away from it. So, but, hey, you I, know. I Nowadays, everything's in a case, so be happy and eat all the bacon you can. Yeah. Sorry, eat, pigs. Eat, eat, eat the bacon <laughs> instead of the turkey bacon, because apparently it doesn't matter. They're yeah, both bad. It doesn't matter. And th- they said that the turkey bacon's bad because it's got processed meat and so forth in it. So instead, go all natural, eat bacon. Why, why <laughs> is it the only stuff that tastes good is bad for you, and the stuff that's good for you tastes, tastes like... Yeah. Like I don't yeah. know. I don't know. That's just wrong in all in all categories. It's just it's just not right. It's just not like why do we have to sacrifice stuff tasting good just just to, uh, so well right. moving the, on my to three the, my three the favorite things good. are now in the top three. Awesome. Yeah, fried food. <laughs> just stay away from fried food. I I love French fries. I love fried chicken. I and let's be honest. I like just the extra crispy skin. Like I you can keep the meat. I'll just eat the skin. <laughs> That's that's the way to go. But Man, uh we yeah. Went, we went to the fair a couple years ago before all this coof stuff started. And uh-huh. um like they had this uh little trailer thingy, right? That you know the food things at oh, the yeah. fair, right? And it oh, yeah. was like it was a uh, I can't what do you want deep fried? I think it was like what was on the thing, <laughs> what, right? What? And what you just can like walk up you? and they're like they're like Ice cream, Twinkies, cheese, butter. I'm like, oh, the butter one, I was like, I don't, I don't know about But, like, I, apparently people eat deep-fried butter. That's a thing. Yep, that's a <laughs> oh, thing. God. you can. You, I've uh, I've come across deep-fried Oreos. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I was like, how the hell do you deep-fry ice cream? Because wouldn't it melt? But apparently, no. Anyway. Um, I, don't, I don't know how they do it. So, like... <sighs> Like, deep, let's be honest. Anything deep fried is just better. I mean, it's good. Come on. Yes, I agree. It's it just makes it better. Like there's there's a reason why deep fried. Food well, see is now good. you gotta cut. Now you gotta categorize what you mean by better because better healthy wise or better taste wise, right? It's <laughs> uh, true. It's better taste wise for sure. And in moderation. But- I could eat that stuff every meal. <laughs> I know. I, could eat. I know. I could do that. And, and uh, then in between meals, I could do the next one too. Like right. it's, 
They, they, these are my go-to snacks. Potato chips. I, see, I, I don't, love potato chips. I don't do. Well, see, uh, I don't know. Is 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 are pretzels potato chips? Um, they say. I remember there was that craze where they're like, eat a pretzel instead of chips. They're so better. if 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 uh, pretzels are potato chips, then I'm stuck here too. If it's not, yeah. then I'm then I'm then I'm good. <laughs> see, I I I do uh, like potato chips. I, I'll put I'll uh, cut up an avocado and just dip potato chips in. You know, just do that. I'll do. Well, let's see, but you're you're balancing peas. out a healthy with a another. So it's like eating nothing, right? No, no. Isn't that how it works? No, no, because uh, there's there's also I might dip it in some like queso also. <laughs> yeah. We'll uh no. It, it doesn't no, cancel out though, huh? No, I don't think so. Damn it. All right, well. See, I, potato chips and popcorn are my my two, like... Wait, time. popcorn's on this list? I don't know if popcorn's better, on this no, list. No, it better not be on this it list. It better not be on right. this list. Well, it depends. If you added sugar... <laughs> I don't add sugar to my popcorn, but... I, oh, well, yeah. I don't know. I do like caramel <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> or kettle corn, is that what they call it? Kettle corn's yeah, good. Yeah, I could add some sugar to that stuff. <laughs> he was like, no, I will. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> no, wait a minute. I could get away with it. Like cheddar popcorn's great. Just Damn. normal butter. Like, I just, I, you know, I pan fry my popcorn. Like, I don't give, <laughs> like, pan fried popcorn is bad. But pan I, you know, I, I, I put the butter and the, and the salt on it. But, um. Of course. I have the like, air fryer one, like, too, uh, but. I opened up the pantry the other day and there was this bag of popcorn and I was like, like it, like a purchased sealed clear bag of popcorn. I was like, I don't know what it is, but it's popcorn. So I opened it up and I start, you know, getting a few and I'm like, it was like that hot barbecue uh, okay. pork rind taste okay. to it. Yep, like, yep. But it was like really hot and I was like... <laughs> I, okay and i was like put it in a baggie and gave it to the wife and said here you go this might be for you because i that's not mm -mm. I was like, this is not my type of thing i mean i love me some popcorn but that was a little crossing the line <laughs> <laughs> hot spicy popcorn is not not where i was going no i don't think that but all right yeah, number definitely adding sugars i i drink a lot of uh like my rock stars and and monsters and energy drinks have sugar. Whoops. <laughs> processed oils. Like what? I don't run. Uh, um, processed oils are those usually like the vegetable corn canola canola oils. One uh, of them. Processed oils like grape seed, soybean, canola, cottonseed, corn, and vegetable oils. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I, try to stay no, away. I wouldn't normally put any of that on anything, but I don't know what my wife uses to cook with. So, see, I use olive oil to cook with myself. My wife, I think she at times occasionally uses vegetable oil because I I think that's what she uses to bake with. I I recall seeing her use vegetable oil for like cakes and stuff. Huh. But. This is because they are heated to extremely high temperatures during processing, which oxidizes the oils. Oxidation produces free radicals that can cause damage to the body as we age. Our bodies have to work harder than they used to in order to recover from insults. Hmm. What? Yeah, those radicals, man, they mm. cause some insults. <laughs> I don't think they know. I so oxidation know. causes Democrats. Is that what they're trying to say? <laughs> oh, wait. No, no. My bad. No. <laughs> It's basically try to stay away from your oils. <laughs> Biden, you oxidated son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got? <laughs> All right, we got hydrogenated fats. fats. Why Hydrogen is anybody eating that? Why? What is, is that in everything? Is that what the problem is? I don't know. That's what I'm. I'm seeing. They don't even add flavor and are used to improve cost efficiency for manufacturers. Peanut butter with a simple ingredient label. Like dry roasted peanuts and salt is much healthier than peanut butter with hydrogen hydro generated fats and added sugar. Hydro generated fats are conclusively shown to increase mortality rates in populations. Okay. Ah, damn so it! Now I gotta go your, read the damn labels. Fuck. 
Yeah, stay away from the peanut butter that's not all natural, apparently. Is Skippy on that list? <laughs> Skippy's <laughs> going to be on that list. <laughs> uh, refined carbohydrates. These include white bread, white rice. White rice. Pasta, uh, pastries, pizza. There's a lot of peas in this one and more. Yeah. Damn it, dude. Pasta, pastries, so and pizzas. The last three... That sucks. Like, so does a donut, is that considered a pastry? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dang it. I thought that was the category of itself. <laughs> I, I don't have any eclairs. <laughs> I eat donuts. Refined grain products are known to promote inflammation in our bodies. They are generally higher in sugar and also associated with obesity. Huh. Causes well, I'm glad to say I like inflammation. So if I eat a if I eat a donut, that's why my knees hurt later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or that's why my stomach feels a little larger. It's infla it's <laughs> it's <laughs> just enlarging. causing it to swell. <laughs> or that's just because I ate too much. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's the swelling. Um, I'm gonna totally blame it on the swelling. It's not that you have eaten too much. <laughs> oh Interesting. Oh my god. Oh man, that looks good right there. I know those, yeah. Eggs, bacon, and sausage. You got Hell bacon, yeah. sausage, oh, eggs, well, and the okay. next thing they tell you, so, don't eat the bacon. So apparently, bacon, stop eating the bacon's and move to sausages because they went from one to one to number nine. So nine's got to be way better than number one. You so think? Yeah. This this is telling you to eat sausage. Is what this article is telling you to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude! All the good breakfast stuff. In fact, I just I, know. Like, I, I just don't tell anybody. But I stopped off at Wendy's Saturday when I was working on my way home and got like a breakfast sausage, egg, and bacon sandwich, which apparently I'm gonna die now. But <laughs> it was good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> That's all that matters. It tasted good. I mean, I don't, like. We, you know, we're in the now society, right? We want everything now, 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 now. So why yeah. am I worried if I'm going to die tomorrow? <laughs> That's a good point, too. <laughs> uh, number 10, we got processed meat. See, now who so, doesn't like see, themselves here, here's the problem. good processed meat? If they didn't get you with... <laughs> Breakfast sausage, Everything bacon, else. turkey bacon. They're just like, oh, and any other meat that's processed. What are you talking about? Hot dogs aren't, are they even meat? Come on, let's be real. No. Well, no, now now they're talking, like they say hot dogs, deli meats. So the deli meats that they slice right there in front of your face is, not, is now processed meat too, apparently. Because they cut it. But pepperoni, <laughs> beef jerky, that stuff's all bad for you. See, that's all the good tasting stuff. Dude. That's not... That's not fair. You can't just put all the good tasting stuff in there and say it's bad for people. That's just wrong. I, this, like I said, that, this article is just wrong. Propaganda. I think we should do... Do, do you remember the <laughs> movie... Uh, was it Super Size Me? Uh, the, guy the guy who McDonald's lived off for like of 30 McDonald's. days or something? Yeah. Yeah. I briefly I remember I think we it. should do the same thing, only in reverse, and we should only eat veg like uh, not vegetables, just fruit. What's what could possibly go wrong if I just ate apples, lemons, limes? So oranges, does that make you fruit. a vegan? No, fruitin. Because I'm only <laughs> eating fruit. <laughs> oh my god! But that's—I mean, I'm sure if I only ate that stuff, something's going to go wrong because it has that well, has sugar in it. I'll tell you what: you eat too much fruit, and you'd be sitting on the on the old porcelain exactly. porcelain <laughs> throne. For a while, because that'll clear you right the hell out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if an apple has enough fiber to stick with you. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean that's that's really the thing, right? Is if you were only eating bacon for all three meals every day, then yeah, you, you probably you ain't gonna last long. But I mean, if you're you know if you have bacon once a week and you know you're doing other foods and things. The other times, it's, it's all about moderation and, you know, mixing yeah. it up to to get all the range of vitamins and all that other stuff that you need. But yeah, I, I agree. I think it's it's all in moderation. But I mean, what like you have to enjoy something in life. You can't just live life and not enjoy anything because 
You still take my bacon away from me. We're going to have some issues. I'm going to be mad. Apparently, you could, <laughs> you'll have to just do supplements. You'll just have, like, everybody's just going to start well, eating I, supplements. You can't, because turkey bacon, <laughs> the supplement I would use, isn't good for you either. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the turkey yeah. or where's the bacon tofu? That's probably not good for you either. Not that I would Is eat the, that. Not that I would uh, eat that, but I'm just saying. Anything that you attach bacon to, they're just going to say it's bad for you. So, yeah. You know, this this article is needs to be uh, blue check marked and as false and misleading. And it, um, it is. <laughs> We'll, we will throw it out there, guys. This is from Fox News, so <laughs> we will say that. But anyway, right, so, everyone, you just eat healthy, eat in moderation, and please tell us, comment below, what is it that you eat that is that you feel like, who cares? That's what you're going to eat anyways, whether or not it's good for you or not. Bacon, damn it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, bacon in, a, in an energy drink, because we're going to be every day. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, like, I don't know, 100 years ago, like, people only lived into their, like, 50s. Like, you were old when you got to 50. Like, mm -hmm. like you were, like, grandpa old. on that 50, right? So now we live yeah. into our, like, an 80s and 90s, but is it worth it if you can't ever have bacon? I don't know. I don't think so. I think you have to experience life a little bit, and sometimes that means some food. You at, have least, to at least once food. a week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's, it should be a Saturday or Sunday <laughs> breakfast every day or every week. <laughs> All right. With that, everybody, uh, leave your comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe, help the channel get seen. <laughs> with that, we're out of here. Much love, all. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>